In today's video, boys, we're going to be taking a look at what I believe to be the Madden 24 meta. Now, this is just speculation based off of things we've heard about the Madden 24 beta, as well as just Madden 24's focus in general, what I kind of see. And again, this is just general speculation. But if I were you in Madden 23 right now, the playbook that I would be trying to learn and trying to master on the offensive side of the ball would be the Cincinnati Bengals offensive playbook. I'm going to explain why. Um, and it's really primarily due to what Madden 24 is probably going to be forcing um, defensively from a meta perspective, as well as what, in general, some of the general feedback as far as how offense is going to work next year uh, tells us. So, um, real quick, just wanted to get into the playbook first and talk a little bit more conceptually, and then we'll get on the field and show you some routes. So, um, what I would do with Cincinnati, and Cincinnati has been arguably the number one offensive playbook really for the last, um, for Madden 23 and for Madden 22. So chances are it's got a really good chance of being the number one offensive playbook for Madden 24. Um, obviously, tight off set was really good, but this is what Cincinnati has. Now, I don't know that this playbook has changed that much. I know the big power formations um, are still there, but you've got a couple things. So one of the things you have uh, under center is you have a really good single back wing, uh, wing flex close. This could be a potential red zone scheme that you could go down to. You also have deuce close, which is really good year in and year out. It actually has um, the halfback wham. Another thing you have is you have this single back bunch tight end, single back bunch combo, and the tight white off formation as well with a stretch. So some really good under center stuff from this. And then when we get into shotgun, obviously that's where this, this play or this formation is all about. So a couple of things. Number one, this split slot formation, you have um, a shovel option. But really, this tight Y off is where things start to get interesting. So this tight Y off formation has, um, and this is what I would call right now Madden 24's potential best route in the game. And I think the best route in the game is this route from flood drive. These like sharp cutting posts are really the best bet for beating man coverage. In Madden 23, the best bet for uh, beating man coverage was the Hot Route Master Slot Apprentice post. But this sharp cutting post was probably close second. And so these, these sharp cutting posts are really good uh, for getting separation against man coverage. You also have a deep post in the switch wide receiver drag. And you have uh, some different wheel routes that you could go to if you wanted to work the wheel route game. Now, I, from what I've heard, the wheel routes might be back in Madden 24 um, in, in terms of effectiveness. So you've got the wheel route thing to think about. And then as we go through these uh, little formations here, this stack, this three formation stack right here is really the best. You have bunch offset, a couple things you can do with bunch offset here. So you have the speed dig play, you have the flood, you have uh, smash return, but you also have bench pivot. So kind of honestly up to you uh, in terms of how you want to utilize it. You could utilize the smash return or you could utilize bench pivot. Um, you know, Z spot is a little bit, I think it's pretty similar uh, to what it was last year in terms of its effectiveness. And then you have play action dig fork with the deep post route. So what I would recommend is maybe an audible setup that looks something like this right here and then basing out of the play verticals and then tight slots. You have post wheel drag, flood, four verticals and mesh spot. These are probably the four best passing plays in one formation and it's what makes this offense so powerful. Um, and then of course, you know, you have some other stuff. You have some empty, some five wide, some quads, but really the main bread and butter of the offense is going to be in these couple formations here. Now, um, another thing that I did want to quickly point out is you can run bench pivot from the bunch strong and, or you could utilize again, some wheel routes if you wanted to do it that route as well. So, um, anyway, let's get on the field, bunch offset and talk about some routes. So, uh, the primary routes that you want to be working here, uh, obviously we have wheel routes. Wheel routes in Madden 20, um, four or three were okay, but really if you man them up, you could basically take them away, especially if you band them up from the inside. They were definitely not as good as they were in Madden uh, 22, okay? In Madden 22, nothing really guarded a wheel route. 
Now, in Madden 23, though, the one thing with wheel routes is they were still really good for breaking down zone coverage, getting into the seam area of the field. Um, and so that's a big piece of this. So now we need something that if this is probably one of the better zone beaters in Madden year after year, this concept right here is going to be one of the best zone beaters in the game. If that's true, then we need something that's going to be consistent against man-to-man -man coverage. Well, the most consistent man beater year over year is the, the shallow cross concept, and we can run this a lot out of these tight slots. So if I go over here to tight slots, and let's say I pick the play mesh spot, I could smart route those posts. It creates a really sharp cutting post. I could run a clear out route to Randy Moss here. And then if I wanted to, I could even run something like this, or I could just run it like this. Or, I mean, there's obviously other ways I could do it, but something like this, or if you wanted to block the tight end and send the running back out, right? You can kind of like make shift however you want to run your shallow, but the slant route and the post route always beat man coverage. They always beat man coverage. So you have a consistent man beater. The other thing is you can run it from two directions. So you can run a post wheel drag setup. This is why post wheel drag is so important to have because when, when, when you're running this version of the offense, now what you can do is you can run a slant post concept left to right where you have the streak, you have um, the tight end on, on an in route, or if you want to leave him on the drag, that's fine. And then you can really just block the running back here. And that's a pretty good setup. You have this clear out vertical route, and then you have your shallow, and you have your post over the top. Another way that you can run post wheel drag to really make it very effective against beating man to man is this is a little bit of a, I think, a unique setup here. But basically, you could block the tight end, motion the running back out on a clear out streak, and then essentially run it like this, where you have a true shallow style concept with that backside dig able to be able to consistently beat man so you have some really good man beaters in the tight slots formation and then you also if you want to beat man coverage out of like a bunch set another thing you could do is you could utilize uh, a route combination like the play flood and then essentially all we're going to do is we're or i'm not i'm sorry not flood um speed dig and what we're going to do with this is we're going to streak Randy Moss, drag our tight end, slant our outside receiver, and block our running back. And now this is not only one of the better zone beaters in the game because it has high lows, but everybody's running themselves open against man-to-man -man coverage. And then the last formation I wanted to just touch on briefly is this, um, this uh, bunch halfback strong, which is really good, especially if your opponent is running match. Because if they're running match, they're not going to be able to run match. And look what they have over here on the left side. They have a sharp cutting post route that will get separation against man-to-man. -man. So what I like to do to set this up is we're going to streak the right side receiver. We're going to slant the tight end, and then you can put the running back on an out route or a table route. It's kind of your choice. And if they run match, you see the match doesn't match, and I can throw that every single time. This, for me, this offensive playbook is really equipped to be able to dominate the meta in Madden 24. If you guys want to get my entire Bengals offensive ebook that we dropped in Madden 23 to start preparing for Madden 24, join the Patreon today for just $10. It'll get you access to all of my Madden ebooks, including this Bengals ebook. And we're going to be dropping a massive update that you to close out the Madden 23 season here in the next week for the Bengals playbook. A lot of that stuff, I guarantee you that you're probably going to be able to use in Madden 24. So it's a great time to be able to get started preparing for the next year's game with a really, really, really powerful offensive playbook in the Cincinnati Bengals. Thanks for watching. To sign up, head down to the description and click the link down below.